Assalamualaikum. In this lecture, we will implement Auth2. That is the passport. This is the project that we build, and we use this API in our previous lecture by type basic auth. We use this API using basic auth in our previous lecture. We will continue from our previous lecture, and when we click this send button to this URL and we see that we have authentication failed because we have implemented our passport. Now let's go to our kernel.php where we have this registered API. Comment this and close the kernel file. Let's go to the postman and click the send button and here you can see we have the result. Now it's time to implement our passport. We will use the same API resource but we will use our middleware auth API. Now we have our middleware ready and when we go to the postman and click the send button then here we can see login form and here in the previous lecture I made a mistake I copied this passport routes line to our route service provider. Let's cut this line from route service provider and paste it in auth service provider. And also the use line from route service provider to auth service provider. Let's open the terminal and PHP artisan passport client. Let's create a client for our application. The user ID I am giving is 3 and the client name ABC and I am not giving any redirect request at the moment. Now here it has generated the client ID and the secret. And when we check in the Postman, we have to start our service. So, PHP Audition Serve. Now, click the send button. And here you can see the login page. Now, it's time to get the access token from the server. 
to get we will get this access token by accessing this route auth and token and when we click the send button using the post method here you can see this the error unsupported grant type the authorization grant type is not supported by the authorization server now let's select the body and form data here we will send some key and values to the server grant type client credentials client id is 3 and the client secret paste this secret here now we provided these three key and values let's click the send button and here you can see that we have the access token and the token type is bearer this is the access token copy this let's start the terminal and create another client i'm using the user id 1 and the project name learning laravel and the redirect the request after authorization and here is our new client and the new secret let's copy this secret and start our server let's go to the postman and here in headers we select that accept and application json and then authorization and we will type here peer space and the token and when we click the send button and here we have the result there is another way of getting the record select authorization and then type peer token and here paste the token and click the send button and here we have the result we have successfully implemented our passport thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video if you have any question then leave it in comments section see you in the next lecture take care bye bye